everyone, it's Schematic Matt and today we are going to talk about the fetal skull. The fetal skull is the most difficult part of the baby to pass through the mother's pelvic canal due to the hard bony nature of the skull. Understanding the landmarks and measurements of the fetal skull will help you to recognize normal and abnormal presentations of the fetus during antenatal examination, labor and delivery. The fetal skull bones are as follows. The frontal bone, which forms the forehead. The two parietal bones, which lie on either side of the skull and occupy most of the skull. The occipital bone, which form the back of the skull and part of its base. Two temporal bones, one on each side of the head, closest to the ear. Fontanelles. A fontanelle is a space created by the joining of two or more sutures. It is covered by thick membranes and the skin on the baby's head protecting the brain underneath the fontanel from contact with the outside world. Fontanelles are The anterior fontanelles, also known as the bregma, is a diamond-shaped space towards the front of the baby's head at the junction of the sagittal, coronal and frontal sutures. The posterior fontanel or lambda has a triangular shape and is found toward the back of the fetal skull it is formed by the junction of the lambdoid and sagittal sutures. The large and small fontanelles are joined with the sagittal suture. Sutures are joints between the bones of the skull. During early childhood, these sutures harden and the skull bones can no longer move relative to one another. Sutures are The frontal suture joins the two frontal bones together. The coronal suture joins the frontal bone to the two parietal bones. The sagittal suture joins the two parietal bones together. The lambdoid suture. The fetal head has the following dimensions. View from the top. The small transversal dimension or bitemporal dimension, diameter temporalis, is measured between the most distant points of the coronal suture equals 8 cm. The large transversal dimension or biparietal dimension, diameter parietalis, is measured between the most distant points of parietal protuberance equals 9.5 cm. The fetal head dimensions and corresponding circumference, lateral view. The straight dimension, diameter occipital frontalis, is measured from the bridge of the nose to the most protruded point of occiput makes 12 cm. The frontal occipital circumference equals 34 cm. The vertical dimension, diameter submentobregmatic, is measured from the middle of the large fontanel to the hyoid bone, equals 9.5 cm. The corresponding circumference makes 32 cm. The small oblique dimension, diameter Suboccipital pragmaticus is measured from the suboccipital fossa to the middle of the large fontanel, makes 9.5 cm. The corresponding circumference makes 32 cm. The middle oblique dimension, diameter suboccipital frontalis, is measured from the occipital fossa to the margin of the pillar part of the forehead, makes 10 cm. The corresponding circumference makes 33 cm. The large oblique dimension or diameter mento verticalis is measured from the chin to the most distant point of the occiput, makes 13.5 cm. The corresponding circumference makes 38 to 42 cm.